this video is going to be about aging and I have so many things to say about this so let's just get started. My name is Martin, I'm 35 years old and according to the norm a 35 year old should not be doing what this 35 year old is doing, record videos and put them on the internet. This one in particular, you know, it's okay because I'm composed, I'm just sitting here, you know, relaxed. But then I've done a lot of other stuff that people would consider, yeah, a little bit over the top. But I say, so what? Why are you trying to cure me of my Peter Pan syndrome? Because age is not as defined anymore as it used to be where once you turn 30, you would have to grow up completely. Once you turn 50, you would already have settled down. When you were 65, you would stop working and you would just sit in your chair and watch TV. My aunt is over 70 years old. She's hiking in mountains. I'm 35. I hang out with people that are 14, 15 and 16. Not just that, but I do. And in the old way of thinking, that would be weird. But because of the internet, because of YouTube in particular, age has become less of a factor when it comes to socializing because now it, it's what binds us, like the ring. It's what connects us that's important, our shared interest and not the age groups. Because, you know, when I grew up, if you were in the fifth grade, you would not be hanging out with people that were in the third grade. If you were lucky, you would hang out with the cool kids in the eighth grade. But the social construct would always be uh, there to say that you should hang out with people your own age. And I completely stopped doing that. I mean, obviously I have friends in my own age, but I also have friends that are 20 years older than me. At the same time, people that are 20 years younger because we share an interest. The other reason that I wanna bring this topic up about age is I have a thing with memory. If you give me a phone number, for example, I will not remember it at all, no chance. And I also have difficulty remembering things that, not that happened, but the way I thought when I was in that moment, like a year ago or a month ago, it's, I don't know, I have a strange, I have a strange relationship to memory. At the same time, I can remember things that are extremely mini specific to certain events, like here and there and there and there. But what I'm trying to get at is that my grandfather he suffered from Alzheimer's or something related to that. So he basically didn't know who he was and he didn't, definitely didn't know who I was. He hardly knew who his son was. And I'm really scared that one day because of this, you know, phobia for becoming someone who loses his mind in that way, because of that, well, part of that, aside from socializing and being creative, that's why I make YouTube videos. It's one thing to leave a legacy for others to watch around the world. This is how I live in Sweden, blah, blah, blah. And this is me trying to be creative and stuff. But it's also a legacy to myself. Because if I would one day end up in a situation where my mind starts to fail me, then I would want to have these videos to look back on and have someone say, Martin, that's you. And that's, that would be my attempt to protest, to rise up against my mind and still trying to keep the person I was as part of the person then I will then be. At the same time, after the incident after the massacre at Virginia Tech where I happened to be you know around I've realized that when people complain about oh I don't want to grow old I, I sometimes I sometimes say but I always think you should be so lucky open the paper any day of the week and you will see people that happen to be in situations merely coincident coincidental uh, coincidental um, or just tough luck but they're not with us anymore or you, you were caused by this disease and this disease this almost feels like everybody gets cancer for example some kind of cancer at some point it's, it's like if you find, meet someone who's 80 and they say well I never have cancer it's almost like really 
So age, for me, in a social sense, it's not a big thing. I can hang out with someone who's 14. As long as we connect like up here, and I don't care what people think, I can hang out with someone who's 20 years older than me. Same thing, because it's not age that defines us. It's what we are up here and what we share from here. And having someone tell me that you shouldn't do that and do that, I say, you're just a naysayer. So that's what I was wanting to tell you about age. I'm 35 and I'll keep doing this regardless of what's, what people tell me until, you know, I don't know. But it's my choice. How do you feel about aging? Uh, are you feeling like, you know, I should have done more, you know, back then or I'm losing or I'm, I'm just becoming this, this fixed stereotype of what a whatever age you are should be. Let me know and uh, next week there will be a new video from either me or Amanda.